everyone, this is LZ Silver and today I'm playing the Kitty Powers Matchmaker. I've already clicked to the open screen because I played this game all the way through before and they actually just sent me to a new town and this is my new house. So um, I wanted to see what it looked like so I went ahead and entered. Um, the next time I play it, I'll play from the very beginning so you can see the title page because it's pretty cool. But um, I thought I'd go ahead and start it. Um, if you're not familiar with the game, um, the Kitty Powers Matchmaker is basically a game where you go in and you're dealing with different people who come into your shop and they ask you to find them love and you, they tell you a couple of things about themselves and you go through your little pink book, technically it's not a little black book, it's a little pink book, of um, matches, possible matches for them and set them on a date and you see if it goes well and you kind of whisper in the ear of your contestant, I mean, um, of your client and let them know what they need to say different things that can help them make this a perfect match so um i've gone through like i said i played this game before several times before so um everything is pretty from i'm pretty familiar with a lot of the stuff but there are a couple of things that i wanted to learn so kitty power sent me a, a mail message that's strange it doesn't look good because those um mm, I'm a little scared. I think I did set up Kitty Powers a long time ago. <laughs> so, like this, you get different things like this. This relationship didn't work out. I hate, hate that I showed y'all that. I'm a good matchmaker. I am, but sometimes it's really hard to get people to stay together. Like in this one, um, they were um, they were both three stars. So it's harder to keep them together if they. Um, I'll explain what three stars and one star means later. But they're a little more picky, so at the end, um, they're doing great on the date, but when, once they got home, once they were out of my hands, they realized they didn't like each other so much. So, <laughs> um, her preoccupation with leaving the toilet seat up really got me on, uh, got up me nose, got up me nose. I maybe told a porky or two, so they lied on their date, and that's why they found out, and they don't like it. Um, sometimes when they lie on the date, it just doesn't work out when they go home. So I'm afraid to open up this email since that one didn't go so well. Let's go ahead and open it though. Um, dear Chelsea, your avatar has had some adventures. Okay, so I've been out on some dates. Ooh. Okay. The wonderful world of the internet since our last correspondence. We fed the data into the Lovatron database and here are our findings. 55% of your dates turned out wonderfully. Oh, yay. Um, unfortunately, 45% didn't go so well. 36% left before the date was even over. Cheeky. Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> Your dream date type still seems to be glam types with brown eyes and light brown hair. Okay. They also appear to be relaxed, methodical, extrovert, experimental, and spicy. The ones to avoid are glam types with brown eyes and brown hair and light brown hair. That's weird. So I like glam types with brown eyes and brown hair, but I also don't like some. So I'm kind of, I'm weird that way, I guess. So <laughs> uh, look, so it, it doesn't matter what they are. If they're this type, I may like you or I may not like you. So who knows? My little avatar has been going out dating and apparently she is a picky missy so um let's go ahead and play for you guys so um kitty powers is basically the matchmaker lady who helps us out um throughout um the game she gives us some advice she tells us different things that could help us out along the way and she kind of um is kind of the ringleader of this so this is her shop and we help her out so choose a client so i'm gonna choose her i think it's that polka dot shirt she's looking for a woman and she's one star wait hold on oh a vip i might do a vip for you guys i'm an oil tycoon see that's gonna make that very hard for her to find somebody because she's an oil tycoon like who are you gonna find <laughs> oh my goodness so i definitely want to do the vip because i want to show y'all how hard it is to match people up um so the star system with the stars um there is one star means that they're pretty okay um, they're pretty easy to match. Um, two stars is a little bit harder, and three stars they're very they're quite difficult to um, please. And VIP these people um, they are your top picky people. They everything has to go exactly right. They want some 
great matches. So I think it might be funny to try to match her up. I don't know if I have anybody who will match her, but we're about to find out. So Deidre is looking for a man. She's an oil tycoon, so let's go in and pick somebody for her. Um, so she is a Sagittarius, and so what you do, um, I'll show you all that later. Let's just go ahead through her stuff. She likes hiking, high-end design, and cabinet making. All right, an oil tycoon going and making some cabinets. So she's active. Um, she's uh, methodical. I was going to say logical. Um, she's kind of an introvert. She is traditional, and she is romantic. So uh, her, what is this? Ooh. Oh, now she's telling me what she likes. Um, so her guilty pleasure is body piercings and her bad habit is rushing all the time. So she's always rushing to do stuff, which is understandable because she's an oily tycoon. Okay, so she's going to tell me what she likes. Oh, she also likes green eyes and dark brown hair. So, yeah, I could just let her tell us, <laughs> but I forgot. Okay, so I'm sure they're a practical type. So that means that she's basically looking for somebody else who's probably... Um, practical or who's compatible with a practical type so when you get to this option where they pull out the black the brown book I call it the pink book because on the outside the covers pink but um, they pull out the book and at this point you can either kick which tells the client I don't want to work with you um, please leave my shop or um, you can go back and you can choose somebody else at this point because you haven't sent them on a date yet you can still go back and choose a different client um, but this is how we go ahead and choose somebody they want to be with so Albie um, is not is a Gemini so what you're looking for with the horoscopes some people believe in horoscopes some people don't you don't know that until the date but um, you look up you want to match kind of the color so their colors don't match here but we can still check other things like this because he's been on a date I sent Albie on a date before I know a couple of things about Albie that he is spicy and that he is a couch potato Really, this means relaxed, but he's a couch potato. So I don't think they'll get along mainly because their horoscopes are different. He's very low key, which means that it would probably be pretty easy to ma make him like her, but it'd be hard for her to like him. Um, they, I had not looked on here, but oh my gosh, they like the same person. So they're out looking for the same person, but neither one of them look like that. <laughs> um, and they don't have... A good match there so that's what I'm looking for I mainly try to stay on this page and scroll through so that's what I'm gonna do he's romantic he's an introvert oh look at that that's nice I like that so we may go back to mr. Nibbleton if we can't find anybody else I'm seeing who else could possibly be a match so they're unsuitable because she's looking for a man so um Neal Butterfly could also be a match because we don't know what these three are, but these two are pretty good. So we're going to check. Um, so he doesn't have that in common. He's a receptionist. She might not like that. Um, he loves her brown eyes and she loves his dark brown hair. Uh, and um, he want, he likes blonde hair, but we can, we can, I'll tell you about that later. Um, isotonic drinks, doing squats, visiting history museums. I don't really know what isotonic drinks are. But doing squats and hiking, that's somewhat similar. But um, so he could be possibly a match later on. If it doesn't work out with Mr. Nibbleton or Nibblebottom, it was Nibblebottom. Yeah. So we're going to try it with him. He's three stars, so he's high maintenance as well. So it's going to be a very interesting date. He likes playing chess, blue sky thinking, and he'll playing electric guitar. Even though these aren't the same. Um, I'm still going to let them go on a date because they are so similar here that it may not make a difference whether their um, actual stuff is the same. So, but you do want to look at this and make sure you remember what they like. He likes playing chess, blue sky thinking, and playing electric guitar because this could end up showing up on the date. So make sure you pay attention to um, this. So we're going to say, we're going to send them on a date. Are you sure? Not really, but one of my choices. Okay, so click to watch the envelopes. Because they're both high maintenance, I'm heading for mediums at the least, and hard is my goal. So, either I think it's Japan and somewhere in South America. That's my guess. <laughs> okay, so I have a good eye on this one. Is that right? Yes. So, I got tie me up. It's actually Thailand. Wow, South America. Wow, sad day. But, um, 
He likes blonde hair, so I might change her hair to blonde and see what it looks like. If it's not nice, um, this is actually hairstyle. If it doesn't look good on her, I won't change it, even though he likes it, but I'm not going to make her look crazy. So, but that hairstyle looks really bad, guys. I don't like the hairstyle. So, um, let's see. He looks like he likes sports, to be honest. He looks like he likes sports. Um, so, let's see vintage and arty types try to give her a new hairstyle and you can um you want to kind when you're picking a new hairstyle you kind of want to look for ones that match what you think the um their date is like practical and geeky types practical and sporty okay so she's practical and i think he's sporty so this way this hairstyle works for both of them i'm not a big fan of this bouffant but i don't like that either so I don't know if I should get it. I think I should just go ahead and suck it up and get it because there's probably not going to be another one that comes along that she likes and that he might like that I like. <laughs> Practical and sporty types. I don't, that one's not as bad. I guess, yeah, I'll get that one. I'll get this one. And then, ooh, <laughs> she did not like that. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give her some blonde hair. I just skipped blonde, didn't I? There we go. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. And he loves blonde hair. So um, that will work out very well for her. And I'm not going to give him a gift because I don't know that much about him. Except that he's spicy and um, a rose wouldn't really work for spicy. Her clothes are tacky in my opinion. But we'll keep them for now. See what he thinks of them and then we'll change next day if we have to. Um, you don't want to spend all your money on one date because you never know if this date will go well, if they absolutely hate them, and then you spend all this money trying to please them, and you have to go and change it all again when you're going to your next date. So they're going to love this restaurant. He must be Deidre. Yes. Yes, he is. Wouldn't want you hanging around now, would I? Ooh, this plant is very fancy. The mates are always going on about it. And I click kitty, so I want her to fall in love because she's going to be harder to please. So I'm going to pause for just a second because I realize that there are no sound effects. And I don't want, I'll just play that a little bit. And I want you to be able to hear them. <laughs> Do y'all hear that? That is crazy funny. Okay, so there we go. I don't want y'all to miss that up, miss that. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. May I take your order? What do you fancy then? Something hot with red meat. So when the date says something, um, don't worry. This is my last time explaining it. When I play Kitty Powers the next few times, y'all will not have to hear me do my spill. I just want y'all to understand how the game works just in case you haven't played. So I like something hot with red meat. So um, you're going through these. And your goal is to try to um, learn what all the dishes mean. And this is a dish that I have not learned what it meant. So I'm going to click it. Squid tossed in salad served cold. Ew. Okay, so he doesn't want that. He wants something with red meat. So. Oh. Hung dry pork strips. Spicy beef served cold. So he said hot red meat, right? How do you not like your dishes on your own menu, sweetie? Let's go with this one. Yeah, so he's very happy with that. So it's going pretty well. And hopefully we don't have any more any issues during the date. Hair. Interest. Facial decor. Let's go with... Oh, oh my gosh. None of these are a good one. So I'm going to use some money. And I'm going to go up to something I know that they have in common. Dinner is served. So I really want Nibble Bottom, <laughs> Nibble Bottom, uh, to like her because I've been trying to set him up for the longest and he is so hard to please. There's this person who was absolutely perfect for a match. All of these interests had one interest the same and horoscopes were the exact same. You know what he said? 
she asked him well I'll, I'll tell y'all at the end but it was bad it was pretty sad i'll tell y'all when it gets to this point when it gets to the point where, where he has to say something i'll show y'all what happened so let's talk about tradition yeah uh ex-boyfriend would show up on this date it's the ex and i wonder who this could be my mood has an above average rating today thank you this has been a pleasant experience but i must depart now so i'm not gonna lie i don't want there to be any lies in their relationship so i'm gonna it's someone else i'm gonna say it's the ex and see what he says hopefully we don't get a strike he hates it great so he's got the ump about that great <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Let's get them on some nice terms. I think they're going to like each other's occupation. Don't y'all? It's a risk. Because we don't know they like it for sure, but I'm going to go with it. Oh, she doesn't love it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so he wasn't too offended by that. She's an oil tycoon. So, what? They're kind of iffy. So, we're going to have to definitely send them on another date. I'm pretty sure this was her. She's making all kinds of faces. Miss Faye. So, we're going to have to send them on another date. Hopefully, gladly, we only talked about two things. They're a bit of a wrong gun, really. We're sending you on another date, so you're going to love them. Oh, she hates him. Crap. So, um, on the site, so I told y'all I was going to tell you what happened. When I send him on the date, perfect girl, perfect date. We get outside, um, and you have the option, will you go out with me again? Will you go out with me? Which is like basically asking you to go steady. Um, can I see you again? Which is asking for another date. And let's just be friends, which means I don't want to see you ever again. Um, she said... Will you go out with me again? Because it was a perfect date. They're perfect for each other. They have so much in common. They talked about everything. He says, I would have, but you're too clingy. And I was so upset with him. And I didn't send him on another date for a while. This is actually the first date I sent him on since he said that. Because I was sitting there thinking, how can you tell the perfect girl that she's too clingy? It was just too much for me. It was way too much. So I think he's going to be a little bit sad, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, he's a, he looks a little bit upset. Yeah, look. I think there's someone better for me. Plenty more fish, I suppose. So, date rejected. He does not like... She doesn't like him. Dang it. I should have gone with my little one-star people. Had a good match. So, I think they made it a little bit more difficult for me since... since this is my second time around, which is totally fine with me. Um, not that the other side, not that the other town was a little bit easier. It was any easier, to be honest. I had to dump Ezra. It was never going to work. That's what you say. I thought it was perfect. <laughs> so we did scout out one more person for him. So one more person for her. If this doesn't work out, I do kind of want to kick her out, but I don't want to... I don't want to kick her out, but I kind of want to kick her out. So wasn't it him? Oh, he loves what she's wearing right now. So let's do it. Let's do it. And hopefully they are happy people. Um, let's see. Love this music. Um, <laughs> let's send them to the Japanese restaurant this time. Let's hopefully I can follow it. Oh gosh, it went so fast. Here? <gasps> oh my gosh, I really didn't think I got that. I was totally prepared to not get it right. And I followed that thing. Eyes like a hawk. Okay, so. Um, mm -hmm. He's a receptionist. I really don't know. Let's just date. Let's just date him and see how this works out. And I think it'd be really interesting if she finds love with him because 
He's a, she's an oil tycoon. He's a receptionist. You know? They're very far in the job market field. <laughs> so she likes him right off the bat. Yeah, so last time you remember she said she didn't really like that guy when he walked in. She said stuff about him. I don't really remember what she said, but she said, like, no one, no reason to be alone with you, is there? Something like that. So, I think she likes it. <laughs> nice one. What do you fancy then? Cold with fish. So, let's do that. I think it's going to be the sushi. Royal sushi served cold. Um, let's find out what this is. Grilled chicken and soy sauce. What's this? Tofu sushi served cold. Yucky. <laughs> um, so we're definitely going to go with the maki sushi. And he's happy. Oh, I caught it. So we got some money. The reflexes of a hyperactive ninja. You betcha. Okay, so it's time to pull the love handle. Okay, so let's go with something we know is good. Tradition. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is going so well. So far. I may have jinxed it. Pull the love handle. So if bad habits or guilty pleasures um, shows up on your first date, you don't want to click them because uh, the person who you're talking to will be like, I don't think that's a first date topic and they'll be a little upset. So try to stay away from that. And this date is just going so well for me. Look, mm. it's, it showed up. The one that they have in common. Yeah, because it's love. Okay, so the trolley's coming. You need to remember all the th different items that are going to be in the trolley. So I have a system. It's not very good, but you're welcome to use it. And here it goes. <laughs> tea, 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 fruit, tea, fruit. Double tea fruit, double knicker. D tea fruit, double knicker, vanilla. Tea fruit, double knicker, vanilla, banana. Tea fruit, double knicker, fruit. Ah! Tea fruit, double knicker, something banana. The second one, tea fruit. He wants fruit salad. I think that's it. So, yeah, that's my system. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good. You could write it down, but where's the fun in that if you're always having to write it down? So I just try to remember it, say the words over and over again, and hopefully I remember it. It's time to pull the love handle. Last one, you guys. Okay, so we, um, you can't redo topics. You can, but people get bored. So, um, I think interest is safe. Why not? Do y'all remember his interest? Because I forgot to look. Um. Oh, I believe I saw visiting history museums, isotonic drinks, and doing squats. So what, what do you think? He'll be impressed that I know it. So just choosing one that I, that's, he actually said is the point. So let's go doing squats. I flippin' love doing squats. I like it. So she likes doing squats, so I chose a good one. That's what I was about to say. You also want to choose one that she's kind of interested in, because when he turns it back on you and says, or her, when she turns it back on you and says, what do you think about that? You kind of want to, you don't want to lie. So this is going incredibly well. Love's in the air. Um, she likes to hike. I think he'll enjoy the fact she likes to hike. Yay! Oh my goodness, this is going so well. It's good to have interest in common. So his mobile mobile is dead. Yes. Oh, that's a long number. So yeah, it is harder for me because I've never had an area code before. What the crap? Why didn't they tell me it's gonna be harder? Okay. 
one 4127 Here we go. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I totally forgot the last numbers. One eight two seven? One something's two seven? Ah I'm just gonna type something. And they may they'll show me the number again. Four one two seven. I'm not excuse me, I'm wasting my own time, not yours. One eight three zero two four four one two seven. What's that number again? Just make her mad. Yeah, you're happy I got it right this time. <laughs> Does he know I messed up? I don't think so. I think he's happy. He's happy either way. These one star people are just love, love, love. I think she really liked this date. I think they're hot stuff. So, should I tell him that we're going to get that we should go out again? or Because she's ready to go all the way. You know what I mean. <laughs> Not all the way. But she's ready. She's ready to go ahead and make this official. Because she loved them. Or we can do another date. I kind of don't want to see if their date messes up next time. I want to see if they're just good now. I think they'll be fine. I think they have a nice compatible relationship. They didn't lie on the first date. They're going to find out some stuff about each other on their own. That they probably might not like. But... I think they're, I think they're solid. I'm going to say they can go out. I'm going to ask him. Do I get more serious? Yep. He loves her. Yay. So that, that's the end of my first episode of Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Hopefully you liked it. I think it's a pretty fun game. And it's going to be especially interesting now that they've ramped it up for me. I did not know that. They ramped up the um, level. Okay, stop the kissing. <laughs> they ramped it up for me as a level because of the fact that I played it a town once before. So, it's a little bit harder for me. Hopefully I get paid more because of it, but yay! And now I'm a level 2 again. I'm a bottom feeder. Gotta love that. So, um, if you want to play Kitty Powers, it's actually a game on well the done. Steam. Well done. promotion. I think it's, it's time to expand the agency. Okay, expand. Wow, okay, so now I got my wing back. I got a wing off of my little house. So if you want to play, um, if you want to play Kitty Powers Matchmaker, it's a Steam game that I think is, um, it's pretty easy to get Steam. If you just type Steam on the internet, um, you can get the the game app and everything and sign up and join an account. I will put some information in the description if you're a little confused on what I mean by this. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. If not, I will make a video or something if y'all need it. Just let me know in the comment section below of how to get Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Um, it's pretty fun. So I'm going to buy a new restaurant while I'm still here. I need some harder restaurants because they kind of outdone all the rest of them. So that's South African. And Indian. I wish I had 500 points. I could get two. Hmm. I'm going to go all out. I'm going to get Swedish. Swedish. Awesome. Okay. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm LZ Silver. Bye.